Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Power Race episode with two wheeling Finn on a GTA 5 trying to get a quick way off of the motorway. Does get through the gap, however, of all of the places you could have put the car, he lands it in the one place where you can't get going again. Not, not an ideal situation for the uh, poor Vigoro. Uh, he span up on a GTA 5. Also, with all the transform races, flies in a little bit too low with the roly-poly, tumbly helicopter. Uh, <laughs> with the helicopter stuck through the floor as he transforms to the poor Voltic. That's uh, also trapped in the floor. Not particularly helpful, especially when you're now ended up in last place and going to explode in about 40 seconds. He will do eventually reset it, but you've lost so much time and all of that. Yeah, not, not what you want your car to be doing. Sticking with the uh, Rocket Voltix Gij uh, on GTA 5 but with another stunt race, things get a little bit crazy up ahead, not helped by some lagging cars as they go through this uh, sort of small little gap. Vehicles appear from all over the place. Uh, the car we're following gets batted around, batted around, fires the rocket, and we're... <laughs> huge amount of luck or expert timing i'm suspecting more luck lands the car perfectly back on the wall to karen makes up a heap of positions as well in all of that is incredible a demonic corsair on f1 2017 with the renaults well living up to my experience of the renaults uh, there's a broken down bottas and there's a safety car being brought out for which the renault we are following doesn't pay any attention to and it's flat out into the back of the safety car then the other renault <laughs> takes the wheel off and they're both out of the race yeah, turns out the Renaults in other people's games don't have a huge amount of luck either. A car fan 93 in a Project Cars 2. I'm not sure if this is riding on board with an AI car or whether this is the uh, the player car. Either way, these LMP cars travelling at high speed down, well, essentially, a motorway. has already had one little bump. Goes to bump the car ahead again. <laughs> that's that's uh, not, not quite gone to plan. That is a seriously effective defensive mechanisms on that vehicle to have flipped a roll and had a car lose its wheel. A Jester also on Project Cars 2 with an aerial overtake in LMP cars. The AI up ahead slows down. He doesn't. Flies across the top of uh, this particular vehicle. Yeah, it's a big, big jump for the LMP cars. And the Bentley goes straight up. Doesn't actually clip at all the top of the uh, yellow car. It's one of the cleanest aerial overtakes we've seen, certainly, on a Project Cars, as we're you know, from the outside view, it's very close. I mean, that would you would need new underwear if you were in that uh, yellow car. Steam's Dev on a very heavily modified uh, NASCAR 2003. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is the game. Very different cars, very different tracks. Gets things wrong slightly under brakes, and his Corvette goes for a little bit of a dance around a tyre bundle. Unfortunately, it would put a McLaren into another tyre bundle, and a Corvette as well would all be broken. Not such a a good day for uh, for those guys. Uh, Ozcast on Autumn Blister with the supercarts having difficulty staying on their wheels. I have seen this a few times with uh, with Autumn Blister. I don't know quite why the last one falling over caused the frame rate to have a massive dump. However, <laughs> it, it went to a sort of PowerPoint slideshow at one point there as he slides off into the tire bundle. Yeah, the supercarts are dangerous. Supercarts are very dangerous. Uh, Zombie Gent on Dirt 4 uh, gets his Peugeot and a uh, uh, Lancia a little bit connected. However, that's not the weird thing. Thing. Up ahead, there is a, a Lance. He just stops driving for whatever reason, and then, then somebody drives straight underneath it. Not sure. Not sure on that one whatsoever. Up next, on to a Wreckfest. The start of a race. Everything gets very chaotic at the start of these things. Uh, the player gets forced out wide, has no real option. There's suddenly a jump there and absolutely annihilates one of the poor AI cars. Now, we saw perhaps one of the cleanest aerial overtakes we've seen for a while. This is a Properly, properly brutal aerial takedown. It's a sort of a takedown that you would be proud of if you were playing Burnout Paradise. I mean, take out you'd be proud of playing <laughs> playing Breakfast. He gets shunted out wide. Can't really get back on the road. Tries to get control. Just sideswipes. Just lands and crunches the poor AI car that tumbles and tumbles out of the way. Friend stuff six on a Seto Corsa. Racing at the Nürburgring against some very, very fast supercars. Things go wrong up ahead. Of course, around very high-speed blind corners, that's not so helpful because by the time you realise things are going wrong, you can't slow down for all of that. And a Ferrari F50 takes the brunt of that particular crash. Not quite sure what caused the upset. I imagine it's the um, airtime across one of these crests, upset a car at the front, and the speed that the Audi is going, you just can't slow down for that big, big pile-up. Uh, not quite the same as the uh, the Macau uh, GT pile-up, but pretty pretty good nevertheless. Uh, speed easy on a Ghost Recon Wildland just completed a mission, calls in a uh, new armoured car, waits for it to be delivered, finds where it is on the map, goes to run around the corner to pick it up. However, 
have not really deployed it in the most helpful of places. Yeah, inside of a giant skip, not particularly good. And being inside the giant skip got the armoured car very angry, it then exploded, and immediately killed the player. One of his, I don't know whether it's an AI person or somebody comes over to a rescue. I assume it's an AI person by the fact that they do not care whatsoever for the giant fireball glitching out behind them that was an armoured car at one point. Yeah, not the most helpful of deliveries. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be honest, now one kind of reminiscent of putting down the uh, uh, cooling beacon on Just Cause 3 at a silly place. Yeah, it's not gone so well. It does eventually get spat out, but it's a little bit of a fiery wreck by that time. We are on to cross out with NC Street Stalker with perhaps one of the uh, greatest shots that I have seen on this game. So he's trying to find uh, the, wherever the enemies are. Spots one in the distance, fires some rocket jump pads, goes for a front flip, fires while still flipping and twisting through the air. Incredible takeout, unfortunately. The landing, that's not quite so good. Im impressive shot, but when you land on your side and leave yourself so exposed, it <laughs> doesn't help. And uh, finally, we are on a Driver San Francisco with a very, very glitchy uh, Dodge Challenger. It's already managed to ghost its way through one of the uh, trucks here. It gets taken out by the police car, rolls, and then flies through the floor. Ghost, ghost challenges are difficult to deal with, although it does also then get thrown out of the floor, up to the sky, stuck on its side directly in front of the police car. It, it's taken an utter battering in the uh, space of uh, <laughs> 20 seconds. Still going. I approve of the orange and uh, black stripe. That's probably why it's rolling over quite so easily, but... Uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. At the very top of the page is the Fair Race Clip Submission section. You can find all of the rules and how to submit them in there. However, that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.